Welcome back. In today's video, we have another submission from Anu Manu, and it's about tiles. So let's see what we can improve. First, I'm noticing that these tiles and this entire sprite has been upscaled by, let's say, four times. Yes, four times. So I'll be back in a few seconds once I downscale everything by four times. Okay, so there we go. Now, there are only a couple of things that I would like to cover in this video. One would be seams in the tiles and how to make them seamless and the second one would be creating a tile set at least a basic one so the first thing i would like to explain are seams in the tile first i will take this tile and i will create it in a new document so you can see exactly what i mean there we go now if i take this tile and put it next to each other you will notice that you have these streaks or lines in between so if i take another color you can see these lines in between which clearly separate each tile and this is what we call seams and in order to create seamless tiles we need to rework your tile a little bit now the easy way you can do this is you can take this tile create a new document with only itself in it so we can take 32 by 32 and then you can go to view tiled mode and depending on what kind of a tile you are creating you are going to use either x y or both axes now in this case i'm going to use x axis meaning our tile will be replicated on the x axis meaning to left and to right if i were to take y axis and i'm going to show you it's going to be up and down and if you're trying to create a tile which can be tiled in any direction you're going to take a tile in both axes. Now, since this is a tile, which is like a platforming tile, where the grass is on top and the ground is below, all we need in this case is X axis, meaning left and right. So do you see these things, these seams that I was talking about? Now we can take those and erase them. And I'm just going to quickly go over this entire sprite and just try to erase the seams. And the main thing I'm going to aim at is populating let's say these empty spaces in between these tiles so they blend in seamlessly and i'm going to follow your style in a sense for this specific tile that you are having lighter portions here and then as it fades down it gradually becomes darker and darker so i'll speed this one up and let's see how it goes Okay, so there we go. Now, this was just a quick rework, just so I can remove the seams. There's quite a lot of work that you can do to change the way texture. For example, when you move from higher up all the way down, you can make these rocks smaller and smaller. So you can see that on the bottom, they are very small and you can make them larger on top. But, you know, that's all something that you can rework if you really want. That's just a matter of style. It's nothing as a part of specific feedback so now if i remove the tiled mode and i take this tile that we have recreated and come here and if i now paint this tile you will notice the difference so this is the before and after now this is what i was talking about when i was talking about seams now we have a seamless tile which connects with itself on the x-axis and you can just go and make it infinitely long and you will not see these streaks or seams in between which makes it look better because it blends nicely but if you leave these seams on top if this is something you want a part of your style keep in mind that whoever plays your game will notice it and it kind of breaks apart from the immersion just a little bit so i think that if you can create seamless styles those are always the better choice now let's talk about the second thing in the video and those would be creating tile sets. Now, what I think you are trying to achieve here is creating different tiles because of your shading. I can see that shading on these tiles is different. So for example, you can see that the brighter portion is here, here, here. So I can see that the shadow portion and the lighter portion are moving based upon, I think, your light source. Now, when we are trying to create tile sets, and I'm not sure if this is what you were aiming for, perhaps you're just playing around with different shading techniques here but because of your top portion is shaded here as well i think you're trying to go for a tile set 
and we create tile sets by thinking about how they are going to be used in a game. So, for example, if you have a character which you want jumping around, let's say, since this would be a platformer tile, we need to think about the world in which we are going to create this tile. So I'm going to go back on this document and I'm going to simplify your tile in only two specific colors. There we go. Now we have a very simplified tile. There is no texture that gets in the way of explaining things. And the easiest way how you can create a tile set is by taking this tile and you can rotate it and flip it around. Now, this is something that you would do in the game engine and so on. So why is this important? Well, let's imagine that we have a scene and I'm trying to run around from left to right and suddenly I want to go on a platform, let's say up here. So now what happens? Well, we have this empty space in between, which if we paste only this tile, you will notice that it doesn't really work. I mean, you can have those kinds of leveled tiles, if you will, where you can jump from here up here as well. So like a layered type of background which could work as well, but at least as a basic ones, you want to be able to connect these few tiles and you can do those in a couple of simple ways. So I will take this tile and you can just add a little bit of green and then you have this tile, which can be as simple as this, though we have to erase quite a bit of the brown part. And there we go. Here we only have three tiles. We have this, this and this and if we rotate these tiles in different ways you will notice that you have a lot of flexibility so for example if i take this tile and use it here now i'm going to fix this quickly there we go we can do the same thing and just rotate this sprite like that and now we can take this sprite as well and we can create the different combinations. Basically, we are creating an, an entire tile set based on only three different tiles. There we go. Now, this is the very basic tile set. So I can take even these corner ones and you can see them being used like so. By only having three different tiles, you already have a very basic tile set. So now based on only three different tiles, this base one, this connecting one and this third one, you already have a lot more flexibility in tile set. Now, tile set can be expanded quite a lot from this point on, whether you want different combinations and how you can connect the grass to the ground, how you can introduce slopes and so on. So this isn't an entire tile set, but it is a very basic one. The larger the tile set and the more edge cases it covers, the better it's going to be. But this is something for another video. I hope these couple of tips will help you create tiles in the future with a sense of a larger image and how those are used in the game. And that would be all for today. And as always, relax, enjoy and have fun.